Hello everyone um, and welcome to this uh, very short video um, about what's going on at your DMS um, in terms of sponsorship. Um, we're here today with the brains behind and founder of Leaders Live, um, which is a business show and one of the reasons um, why we wanted to sponsor the show is because we generally think the show is a fantastic show. Aww. It brings together everything that we value at your DMS, community, networking, uh, like-minded people and great insight. Um, so, Andrew, good morning or afternoon, where, however people are watching this. How are yeah, you? you right? I'm very well, thank you. And can I just say, Jack, I'm delighted that um, dear, your DMS are sponsoring us. We are so excited about that. And, you know, I first met you, Jack, on Leaders Live. And, you know, I've got to say, you know, like a lot of people, I'm sure you hear that I um, was instantly drawn to to your engaging and friendly approach, Jack. And, uh, you know, I spoke to your dad the other day and he said, well, you know, my favourite person in the world is, apart from my wife, is um, is uh, is you, Jack. So there you go. So oh, there you go. That's high <laughs> praise. High praise. I love high it. praise indeed. But, you know, yeah. I think, I think, like I said, we'll get into the bits and bobs in a minute about Leaders Live and, yeah. and why no we're it. But I think from our perspective, it's, we, we, what, we love like-minded people. Yeah. Um, we're really in the technology and data world. So it's very IT, which everyone seems to run away from. Um, we, we, we get drawn to people and people that want to do um, good things with with technology and themselves, you know, always yeah. better in themselves. So uh, I think our community and, and our, as you said, I, I, I engage with the show I did before and I just loved what you what you're doing with the community. So thank you. Yeah, I was going to ask you what you loved about the show and you've answered that perfectly. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's let's delve into it, Andrew. So. Yeah, and, the, and, and the tables are turned today, aren't they, Jack? You know, it's like know, you're interviewing yeah, yeah. me, so you're the boss today. <laughs> it literally is, because normally you're on the left-hand side. Exactly, yeah, we flipped and over today. Right. Yeah. So there so, you go. So hopefully, hope, hopefully I do your um, your job, as per se. Uh, perfect. I couldn't ask for a better so. person to do it, Jack, so there you go. There you go. Thank Brilliant. you very much. So, yeah, kick off. Yeah, and tell us a bit about yourself yeah, um, sure. and, and, and your kind of background. Okay, yeah, fine. So let me just start with a bit of private stuff really so um so i've got three kids uh, three girls so um there's no loose seats up in my household uh, jack i can tell you yeah i mean they're they're all um a lot um i mean they're they're in their 20s now so um you know they're, they're the other side so which is great um i love surfing jack and um, which isn't bad for a for a boy that lives 200 miles from the sea you know so that's that's pretty good so i taught myself yeah. how to surf my wife surfs with me as well and i also love martial arts i'm a, a third dan black belt in karate wadaroo uh, I'm also a black belt in uh, kickboxing. So, and Sarah's a second Dan. That's my wife, Sarah. She's a second Dan kickboxer. So, when we argue, Jack, there ain't a stick of furniture left in our house. I can tell you. <laughs> Do you have a warning sign outside your house. <laughs> yeah. Don't come in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch the wife. You know. So. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so I'm a bit of an artist as well. Um, my mother's an artist, so I, I enjoy drawing and painting and things like that. So that's another side to me. I'm also the published author of two books. I wrote a book um, called You Are More Than You Think, um, The Return to Your Authentic Self, which is a lot about really the ethos to, to the show that we'll get into. And that book's all about how to develop yourself and how to you know, get the best out of your life. And my second book was about uh, developing high-performing teams. So uh, there's two published books. So yeah. Um, but I started my career, Jack, as an engineer, and I got chartered pretty early on. I was still in my late 20s by the time I got chartered, which is pretty good, actually. And there's many buildings around the country that I still drive past, which is just great, particularly in Manchester, did a lot of work in the Manchester area. So that's just great to see those legacy buildings still there. Yeah. So, But in the dot-com era, I, you talked about IT earlier, Jack. I moved into the world of IT because IT was cooking at the dot-com era and it was exploding. You know, the world of the personal computer has invented and I could see IT changing the world. So I flipped from engineering into the world of IT, never regretted it. Yeah. And then from there, I got headhunted into venture capital. So I worked for 3i, the venture capital group, worked with them all over the world with a technology bias, which is fantastic. Yeah. And then eventually I set up PDX Consulting. Um, and that was, gosh, that was in 2003, uh, 2004. And that was really to fix teams and to create high performance teamwork. Because I really believe, a bit like you, you know, the people factor is massively important. Huge. Um, yeah. We need to collaborate much more better than we're doing. I know that doesn't quite make grammatical sense, but I just like it much better than we're doing. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And the whole thing about soft skills, collaboration, high performance teamwork. I mean, that's what I do. So I teach teams to become high performing. So that's that's mm -hmm. what I do. Hence my second book, uh, Developing High Performing Teams. That's a little mm -hmm. bit about me, Jack. 
Fantastic, fantastic. Well, let's let's go. Let's do. A, I know on your show, one of your features, you had oh, me yeah. on it as well. Um, so in the middle of the show, you added in a get to know you in five, oh, which I thought was really nice actually, because you yeah. brought the community community as in people talking on a, on a chat. But yeah. as we all know, it's really nice to see someone face to face. Um, so you bring you bring a for people that obviously don't know that you bring a, a viewer or a listener um, onto the show and you get to know them in five. So I thought today let's do the same thing with you. Fantastic. Um, so Andrew, yeah. what is your favourite movie? Oh, that's a no-brainer for me. It is Red Pill, Blue Pill. It's got to be The Matrix, Jack. Got to be it. The Matrix. Love, love The it. Matrix. Love yeah, absolutely. Love Best that. film ever made, in my opinion. Uh, I agree. I agree. I think there's a new one coming out as well. It's that's brilliant. Awesome. I've got the I've got the movie. I went to see it when it was out um, straight away. It's a, um, it's a brilliant film, actually. It takes a bit to get into, but it's really well done. It's a bit of artistry. Ah. Fantastic. Oh, film. brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I love Morpheus, etc. Oh, yeah. Mm. Favourite food? Uh, well, do you know what? I'm a, uh, it's, it's a toss-up between steak and kidney pie and chips, or steak and chips, and to finish with tiramisu, right? Got to be tiramisu. Oh, tiramisu. Oh, oh, what, what, a what a combination. What a combination. Yeah. Boys' food in some ways, you know, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I'm, um, I don't mean to be sexist, but no, no, I'm just teasing, so, uh, yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and if you add, uh, let's, let's say, your top uh, thing on your bucket list. Oh, bucket. Do you know what? As a kid, I've always dreamed about going to the rainforest. And when I was a boy, you know, the whole of you know, the whole of Brazil and all South America was effectively a rainforest, and it's disappearing quickly. I'd love to see the mystique of the rainforest. There was just something about that rainforest, oh, wow. the, the Amazon rainforest. Love to be part of that, and to spend a few weeks there. I'd love that. Absolutely love that. That's a dream of mine. That's so interesting. I like mm. that. Um, favorite band? Uh, do you know what? I've got three here. So um, Led yeah. Zeppelin. Yeah. Uh, Pink Floyd and Simple Minds. I went to see Simple Minds in concert the other day in oh, Nottingham, wow. and they were friggin' awesome. They were brilliant. Love no, I love so, that. That's yeah. amazing. And if you had, um, if someone to give you one superpower, what would yeah. it be? Well, I think you know. So I think everyone's got a superpower, in my opinion. I think my superpower is um, my intuition, and you know, I tend to be quite instinctive and work quite heavily on intuition. Now, sometimes I can be wrong with my intuition, but on the whole, I really value that, and it's a fantastic superpower. So I'd want more of that, Jack. More intuition. That's so interesting. I like that. I like the way you put that in the sense mm. of everyone's got a superpower because I think there's a lot of people out there um, and me being one of them in terms of a mental health advocate and talking to yeah. people, a lot of people don't realise that they have that superpower and they have a superpower now. Everyone thinks it's all Marvel, comics, etc., etc. but you actually oh, do have yeah. a superpower. Yeah, okay. we've all got superpowers and we need to access And the problem is that we're so stuck in our comfort zone, Jack, and the fear zone. Yes. And, and the key to get to our superpower is that we've got to develop beyond our comfort zone and our fear zone and mm. get into that kind of inspiration um, mm. stretch zone. And once we get there and mm. we start to learn the things that you're talking about in terms of getting over our mental health, getting over ourselves, developing ourselves, developing our soft skills, mm. getting better with people. Mm. At that point, we then can access our superpower. So I think it's a hop, skip and a jump to get there. But it's all possible with you hu with human beings. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah. I totally agree. Yeah, I'm so okay. I think it's fluffy, and it's not fluffy at all. You know, this no. is real stuff, man. It's real, no. you know. Absolutely. absolutely. No, 100%. Yeah. No, no, no. I couldn't agree more. Um, mm. I couldn't agree more. Um, so let's delve into the um, how you came up with the idea of uh, Leaders Live then. So obviously you told us about a bit about your background, et cetera, and, and, yeah. and everyone knows a bit more now. But Leaders Live specifically, who your DMS are going to be sponsoring. So tell okay. us a bit about the idea around that. Thank you. Well, I mean, it all began in the pandemic, actually. And uh, you, you talked about mental health earlier, Jack, and I had some real issues back into that pandemic. I think a lot of people did. Um, mm. and, and, you know, I found that that you know, I was accessing the downstairs part of my brain more than the, the upstairs part of my brain. And I just couldn't make decent decisions. And, you know, the other thing that I was missing, Jack, is that before the pandemic, I was I was presenting, you know, at least three or four times a month to large groups of people. And I loved mm. that. You know, it's allowing me to get my energy out and to express myself. And it's part of my authenticity. You know, I just love that kind of public speaking piece. Clearly, with the pandemic, couldn't do that anymore. And I remember speaking to a, a bunch of CEOs who advised me, my board team, and saying, well, what do I do about this? And we came to the conclusion that, look, Andrew, you've got to do something. You know, you can't just wait until because it might never go back to yeah. the way it was, you know, with with just you know, people in a room and you talking to people. Um, maybe there's a different way. And I stumbled then into, so I thought that was a brilliant, um, that was a kind of, 
you know, one of those defining moments, those points yeah. where things change, an inflection moment. And that inflection moment really made me think about, OK, so what could I do? And I, I then stumbled into live stream and I knew live stream was a thing, but I, I just didn't rate it. I just thought, mm. right. you know, yeah. um, I just couldn't see it working. But the more I looked at it, the more I found oh, this could really work. And so the more mm. I looked, the more I found. And so I uh, I started to invest in, in well, to, to research, you know, well, what would it take to do? to do live streams it's a lot of kit that's involved actually it's tech you know i know you're into technology that the tech yeah. involved in going live stream there's, there's there's a lot to it it's not straightforward yeah. you can do it with a simple iphone but to get good at it you've got to get good kit yeah. so you know i um my, my fd and i we sat down and we started looking at okay so what sort of investment do we need we put the investment in i bought the kit and then at the same time i then joined a um um laurie petrucci's um leader group which is live every day in april which is a private group 400 of us practicing how to live stream safely and you know so because there's something about live streaming because there's, there's no safety net you know you're straight out you're live and yeah, everything, yeah. anything happens and, yeah. you know who knows because the phone might even ring right yeah, yeah, <laughs> which yeah, has actually everything. happened you know yeah well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and dogs bark and helicopters go over mm -hmm. and the, the answer phone comes and the doorbell rings you know all of those things happen in live and so it's a very dynamic situation it's actually quite scary and a lot of people that join me on hangout you know they they kind of say, i've never done a live stream before it's really scary there's no practice there's no recording of this i can't re-say anything no you can't you're, you're out right. but people right. are very forgiving with with that so you know what i found was that the more I looked at, at live streaming and the more I practiced it over that month, I started to get good at it, started to get excited about it. And yeah. I really felt, Jack, that this was an ability to create something completely fresh, you know, a yeah. completely a fresh approach to presenting, yeah. you know, um, that engages and inspires people to interact through an online platform, really, that, yeah. you know, is just as good or even even more better than mm -hmm. in-person events. That's what I was trying to create here with this live stream. And that's why I think, you know, live streaming is so exciting and anything can happen and does happen, doesn't it, Jack? You know, so, yeah. you know, that's... Well, that... I think, I think the other thing with, with just just on the, the anything can happen live yeah. scenario, I think over the pandemic, we I spoke to loads of customers and yeah. prospects, et cetera, et cetera, that, that I would meet face to face in a business environment. Suddenly you're in their home environment. Absolutely. Absolutely. You've got kids crying that they Dogs just fallen over in the garden, yeah. and now you, and now you hear the dad or the mum version of that person that you you do business with, and it's I, I find I or I certainly found yeah. that it was so authentic, it was great. You brought you you brought the relationship closer. That it's it's just one of those, and I think definitely with as you as you alluded to, the phone rings or <laughs> it's, it's never it's happened. <laughs> no, but it does, and, it, and and it's about it's about it's it, that's what I think what makes the the life better in my I, opinion i agree and and with leaders live it's all about an interaction you know we, we purpose not just about me talking you know we right. I, I i minimize myself so we talk to the guest the hangout guest the yep. language is kind of easy it flows we get lots of interaction you know i want to ask you jack you know what what drew you to leaders live you know i, I know you said a bit earlier but what, what what kind of drew you to it you know what is the bit that you find really exciting about it Interestingly, obviously, I stumbled across it and actually the topics, the topics, the way you word the topics yeah. um, really resonated with me. As I said, I'm a massive mental health advocate. Yeah. Um, I'm doing lots in our business for our customers and personal life. Um, and it was very much a case of um, the topics definitely drew me in. Yeah. And then the, the, then the energy, you know, yeah. your energy. Um, I, I sometimes I don't feel like I've been watching for 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And I think a lot of people are around a live or a video that turns around and goes, oh, I can't take 40 minutes out of my day. Or, <laughs> yeah. I can't do it, take an hour out of my day. And actually, yeah. when you've got good topics, you've got a good community that actually praises you, helps you. And I've hung out with a few of the, the people that have sh been on the show and view, yeah. um, listeners, and we've had we've had conversations off of the show you know absolutely and, I think and that's yeah. part of it which i'll come on to and that whole thing about yeah. mental health is a big issue as well yeah. that we talk yeah. a lot but we're not frightened of the big business topics that should no. be on the top of people's business agendas right yeah. now so it gives it gives that so that's that that was mainly me so let's yeah. go on to the yeah. part that um who is who who is a part of the leaders live community okay. so so, so yeah okay thanks jack so so firstly Liz Live, it's a free it's free to join you know and it's highly interactive as we've just been talking about and and we're kind of attracting a diverse range of business people worldwide actually you know people from south africa all over europe from vietnam 
um, you know, parts of Spain, you know, Denmark, Ireland, you know, we, we're uh, Australia even. Uh, the Americas is a little bit more difficult because of the timings, but we, we mm. may we may address that later. Um, so, uh, and we, that is a whole diverse range of people, which is fantastic. And they can be from small, medium, large companies, all sorts of mm. sectors, Jack, it doesn't really mm. matter. You know, mm. that, that it's, it's about business. We're serious about business. So that could be business owners. We have a lot of, we have a lot of business owners. We have a lot of directors, senior managers entrepreneurs and business executives too, people that are serious about business and want to see their business grow. And the thing that we've got in common here is that our audience, our community, if I use that word instead, like you, Jack, you know, we're interested in the people factor and seeing new yep. ways of creating collaborative high performance businesses, because we believe that that's the future and our business yep. success will be based on the people factor. Definitely. So yeah, that's definitely. that's kind of the community we're building, and it's building, you know, really successfully now. We're really pleased with the way it's building. And 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 obviously, how how do how does Leaders Live benefit the community? So we, we obviously touched on the 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 element of we can collaborate. You've got our business owners on there. You've got people that are potentially looking to change jobs. You look people that are looking at right, I'm in sales or I'm in marketing. How do you get sales and marketing talking to each other as an example of we've had before? Yeah. You know, how, how does, just just elaborate a bit more on the, the benefits to the community. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I like the way you've you, you've kind of just given some, some examples. I'll give some more examples a little bit later as well for, um, for, for the viewers. But so let me begin with this headline, Jack. So in this rapidly changing world, you know, um, uh, what got you here today, Jack, won't get you there tomorrow. That's the presupposition of Leaders Live, that we need to do something different in business. Yeah. Uh, because the world is changing hugely. Yeah. And and I believe and I, uh, the Leaders Live ethos is really, you know, that's that's true for our, as you've just mentioned, our personal careers, as well as the businesses that we're working in, that we work with or that we own. And we yeah. all thrive in our in our private lives in our you know through through business and I, I'm a passionate believer is that if we can make our working lives thrive and we, we enjoy them then you know our whole life becomes it opens up a whole lot more because let's face it we spend such a lot of time at work we might as well enjoy it and and, and I think you know Jack you know the penny is only just starting to drop in the 21st century it's ridiculous really <laughs> that we are all hardwired to connect you know and this is stone age stuff you know the campfire stuff it's been there since since day one right and yet mm -hmm. we've kind of lost connection with what's important like the people factor soft skills tapping into creativity what's happened to creativity we just don't value it anymore and and yet in today's business world we're starting to see creativity come to the fore and yeah. i think that's really important and also you know things like high performance teamwork all of these things are massively important to figure out you know for our future business success in the next few years and and that's yeah. what leaders life is doing and you know we we only grow and we only add value and thrive if if we are part of a healthy community and you know that's what leaders live is all about and our motto is to do you know, we describe that as i to the power of we and i really think that's an important phrase you know it's not just about mm. me anymore and what i want it's about we need mm. to work with other people and yeah. when we collaborate with other people one on one just doesn't equal two it equals one on one equals 64 or something new yeah. you know yeah. it's there's a power in that and that's what we're tapping into here so you know what has that got to do with everyday business you might say well actually quite a lot let me explain so look the leaders live business model is all about adding value and growth to everyday business in our community um, so yeah. that we can all thrive we can all get joy this is important joy freedom and love in our working lives they're words we don't use very often and no. yet we purposefully use them in leaders live because it should be about that if we're not having fun why the hell are we doing it exactly yeah. yeah so you know it's it's through this spirit of generosity and you know i use these words loosely infotainment edutainment that we deliver in an easy fun interactive easygoing way um that our growing community they can relax into they can enjoy they can be inspired by and get you know direct benefit from and interact with it as well and i think mm -hmm. leaders life does that in three ways so how do we do that we do it in three ways so um, first of all, we do it through our Hangout guests, you know, as you've mentioned, tackling relevant, useful and interesting topics that, you know, we can all engage with. This is these are business issues at the top of our agendas, or at least should be, and that we can all learn from. And, you know, I'll give some examples in a few minutes. But um, and the second thing is that we're building a worldwide community. I mentioned that earlier that, you know, we 
um, where people can network and connect. This is massively important. It's not just all about, you know, what the expert is saying to us, but that actually there's, and you, you mentioned it earlier, that part of it is about connecting with people offline. So, you know, we, yeah. we, we want to network with one another, both in Leaders Live and in, you know, in our everyday business lives outside of the Leaders Live room. Um, yeah. You know, and this is powerful stuff. You know, and yeah. I think thirdly and finally, through through an ethos of lead generation, you know, uh, we want to help each other's businesses to grow and, and, and thrive. You know, we can help each other. And that's why Leaders Live also partnered with your DMS as our sponsor, Jack. You know, that's yeah. because we were like minded and we just wanted yeah. to do that. And, you know, that's part of our business model. You know, there's a lot of time that goes into making a Leaders Live show. So, you know, I need something in return too. So, you know, and that works in lots of different ways, you know, so, um, but that's a little bit about the background. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, no, definitely. And, and just, to, just to point out the, the, mm. the partnership and things like that in yeah. the sense of what, what our business model of 15 years we've been going and yeah. we've, we've built up that like-minded technology partner base mm, where, beautiful. Where, where, we, where we can produce pretty much any solution for any sort of business, you know? Yeah. Um, because yeah. we've got those partners, we've got that ecosystem, as I call it, uh, of like-minded people that we can help and 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 benefit from both commercially, but also from a from a relationship perspective in in the long run, which is what we're all about. Definitely, yeah, and that that relationship stuff is so important. In fact, you know, my wife Sarah the other day she said, "So I know you're, you know, she, she knows all about this sponsorship." thing with yeah. your dms yeah. and she said look jack you know actually we need to use him in our business because we need to glue some stuff together in the back end of our finance system yeah. that yeah. needs some document management so we need to be talking to jack and that's yeah. how things work isn't it they work through connection yeah definitely you know. and 100 percent. so you you touched on um topics yeah. um business topics so just 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 elaborate on that a bit yeah with, uh, okay so yeah. I, I, recent topics you know, we talk about all sorts of things we're not afraid of any topic and and our viewers sorry our community of listeners you know they they also put suggestions into can we talk about imposter syndrome was one chap yeah. jonas who wanted yeah. something on that right so yeah. we talk about well-being we talk about resilience mental toughness and i know that these things are close to your heart as well jack and you know part of the, the your dms thing is is to value that whole thing you know legal issues made simple you know i i, I never thought one of my mates is a brilliant lawyer and he's mm. really engaging and he makes legal stuff you know he he, he makes it you know interesting to listen to and it's yeah. it's really interesting we've talked about meditation we've talked about neuroscience in a business context digital nomading with with sarah doing what she's doing with her business and yeah. we've talked about branding negotiating skills that we had last week and how to wow, wow customers with jackie leonard we talked about that we've talked about sales skills which i know is very close to your heart as being the sales director of your dms and yeah. dealing with failure and overcoming imposter syndrome and the list goes on and on Jack, can I give you an example of what's happening next week, for example? Just yeah, please do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please do. Yeah. So, so ne next week, for for example, re very real. You know, we're we're just building up to the preparation for this right now. We're hanging out with Emma Bramwell, and she's the CEO of My Perfect Neon, and that's a highly creative, creative business. These are new things. These creative businesses. Uh, creative neon sign startup business, you know, and Emma has involved her business from absolutely nothing to a thriving business. Just in a few months you know how has she done that well we'll find out on on tuesday but essentially yeah. what she's done is and this is the story which i think we're excited to hear on tuesday is you know she's engaged with her customers at a different level at a deep level of a soul level almost that she's creating the customer story if you like and creating a neon sign that crystallizes the essence of that defining moment Mm. You know, and that's really important, you know, uh, something that's defined their lives that they can put into a sentence and those words are really powerful. And she does it in such a way that, you know, it illuminates, literally illuminates the idea and the, the, the words um, yeah. and, and wows everybody that sees them, not just something for her to look at or, you know, a business owner to look at, you know, even coming down a set of steps where my wife works, they, she's, they've, 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 they've got like a staircase with something that's very low and you've got to mind your head. It'd be great to have a neon sign there saying, mind your head, <laughs> you know, all of those yeah. kind of their stuff because people do yeah. bump their heads there. But so all sorts of ways that these signs can, can, be, can, can, can be useful. And she's using her authentic creative skills you know, to make a thriving business. How cool is that, Jack? Yeah, it's cool. And and just oh, on that, I think yeah. from life moves so quickly and you come up with these 
these phrases, these ideas, and I certainly do a lot with, with yeah. Sadie, our marketing manager, etc. And I always say, write that down, write that down, because life moves so yeah. fast. Yeah. But having it in this time, how powerful is that to keep just, and because also everyone tells you to slow down, take yeah. a minute, slow down, take a minute and have a look at the sign, have a look at what the what the phrase is telling you and, and really have that deep thought. So no, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm personally really looking forward to that, actually. Yeah, um, I think the stories in our lives are massive. massive. Where, yeah, where can they watch and listen? Just for sure, the, for the okay, for so um, look, this is growing and it's adapting all the time. The great, the great thing about Leaders Live is that we are adapting, we are changing. You know, we think about doing different things. We might even do an evening event. You know, we, we're planning one of those right now. Um, I need to tell you about that, Jack. Um, you know, and, and we're going out on we, we go out on Facebook, we go out on Twitter, we go out on YouTube, Twitch. I don't know how Twitch works, but it kind of goes out there somehow and people <laughs> listen to it. I don't know how that works, but and but principally on LinkedIn. Um, so primarily we promote through LinkedIn and, you know, we have yeah. a growing database of people that we invite every week and that grows and grows and grows. So we're getting our audiences building. Um, so you can find us principally on LinkedIn, but you can join in on other platforms. And people do. So we get people on, on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch, yeah. as I said. So uh, Twitter's and we go on Twitter, too. But principally our platform's LinkedIn. And that's how people can get hold of us. And, and we invite you, but you can invite yourselves as well. So it's, as I said, mm -hmm. it's free to join. It's not a yeah, that's community. Yeah, almost my choice. I must admit, with a community, um, but yeah, as you said, you cover a, a, a wide variety. So actually, there's no excuse. And also, yeah. you record it, you put it out on your YouTube. Oh, we do. Yes, um, yes, we do. Thank you. As well. So you do your yeah. podcast as well. So even if eight forty-five isn't doable for some people, like some weeks, I have to yeah. be in a meeting or I'm I'm out on site or something like that. So I always catch up on it. Yeah, we've because, got you covered. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, exactly. And 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 more importantly, the content is there for you to scribble down. It's it's free content, and you can and you can use it in your day to day or business life. So yeah, yeah, massively. Uh, so I appreciate your time, Andrew. You. I'm glad. I'm glad we've had this and, and Likewise. I'm so happy that we're able to sponsor you um, and progress with you because um, I really do think it's, uh, uh, as the cliche goes, match made in heaven, definitely. Yeah. Um, and I look forward to um, to, to Tuesday, uh, 8.45. Um, be there or be square. <laughs> absolutely. Well, hopefully with, with our community as well, share, this will be shared on our community. So hopefully we'll be seeing lots of new faces there. So if you are yeah. there and you're new, put, put your, put, say hi in the chat and, and say you're new and new to the show. So um, yeah, thank you for your time, Andrew. Yeah, you're very and, welcome. Uh, thank you. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers for now.